User accounts for Broadcast Radio products are maintained by the Broadcast Radio Directory database, which is actually a separate SQL database running on your server or main machine. The directory doesn't just have to have users of the products in it, it can also act as your station's contact database in general. There are some primary settings which can be viewed by going to Settings, User Management, Directory Settings. And it's worth starting there in the setup of your users. Here there are two user options. You can automatically add users to the directory on first use. This is based on the user account which is logged into Windows. So when you start a broadcast radio product, it will create a user based on the Windows user account name. And you have an option here to allow blank passwords as well. Below these two options are the security groups settings. I've got an all users security group, which is created by default. And any new user created will be assigned to this group by default. To view the permissions of this group, either click on the name description and click on the cog icon or simply double click on the name description. The permissions are set into two main areas, general and media wall permissions. Under general, there are permissions for the application, directory, favorites and log. And some of these permissions override or gray out others as they are overarching permissions. Unticking those will allow you to control the permissions on a more detailed level. For instance, if we click on here for the directory permissions, we now have finer grain controls as to what the user can actually do within the directory. But if we tick those again, those ones are greyed out. The log permissions are worth looking at, as this controls whether or not a user can voice track in the log or not. There's also an option to allow the current hours log to be edited from anywhere, which can be useful in certain circumstances. On to the Media Wall Permissions tab. And these are around jump buttons and also whether media packs can be imported or not at the top here. Then in the bottom box, it details the edit ranges that members of the group have access to. To create additional ranges, just click on the plus icon on the right hand side and enter a new start and end ID. You can delete the range just by clicking on the X. Additional edit ranges can be added on a per user basis. So this is the general edit range. So you could actually reduce it down to be a small range for most. From here, you can create new security groups from here. You can rename an existing security group or you can delete a security group. You can only delete a group if there are no members in the group. The number of members or users in the group is shown under the members column. 